right, how are we doing? How's our sound? How's our video? How's everything? Let's see. <laughs> I guess that'll probably do. I think it's close enough to time also. Let me see here. All right, well, it's Saturday, it's mailbag. Um, and uh, whew, man, this week's been a blur. Uh, um, most of what I've been doing, of course, has been taking care of little Crank. She seems much improved, like she's able to get around now. There were, you know, there was some time when we first brought her in when she really couldn't walk much at all. But uh, she's walking around now. It's pretty awkward walking. Um, but uh, the doc kind of suggested that she might always be that way. Like she might always um, have a little bit of trouble walking normally. And so uh, I think that, you know, that she's doing great, really. She, she does get around. She doesn't seem like she's in any pain or discomfort, uh, except for when she wants to poop still. That's given her some hard times. Or when I want to clean her, <laughs> which I, I have to do fairly frequently. And uh, regular enemas are still a thing for her. So uh, all in all, you know, the surgery, the, it wasn't surgery. The, the procedure made some difference for her, but not anything that's really significant yet. Um, but like I said, the, the surgeon wants to see her again in a month or two when she's a little bigger and it'll be easier to do an actual surgery that might make more of a difference. So that's the plan for her. Um, otherwise, I don't think there's a whole lot that's been going on this week. Uh, that's basically been my whole week, is just keeping a real close eye on her and making sure that she's got everything she needs. So, uh, yeah, that's that. I know it would be fun to do mailbag today with the kids upstairs because they are so cute right now, but I don't think they can be as entertaining as Gadget can. So that's why I decided to do it in here again with Gadget because she's so fun for mailbag. Yes, you are. Um... And I think that's basically it, though. So there we go. Let's see about some letters. Hop right into it. This one has some very sparkly kittens on it. And let's see here. Hey, you want to help me open that? Okay, here we go. Ooh, it's got sparkly kittens on this side, too. <laughs> and this one, I can't tell at all what this says, but it's been corrected, too. It says Tilt Top to Genter. That's what I'm going to go with. I know that's terrible, but uh, that's, that's the best I can do. Hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Thank you for all you do. Uh, let's see. Things in uh, regular life are more stable now that I got a permanent job. Still, it's uh, soothing and good to watch the current class being so healthy. Yes, it is. Crank is so feisty and cute, Cash will soon get a home, I'm sure. In the meantime, he is, uh, he is, uh, do, 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 do. oh, cared for at KA, I think is what that says. Okay. Uh, take care of yourselves too. Uh, hugs from Norway Cat Fan. Uh, the card says to two top girls, Gadget and Bonnet. This card made me think of the two current Calicos. It is such fun watching Gadget antics and Bonnet's cutie face stay healthy and fun. Also, hugs and kisses to Crank and Cash and the other babies, Hazelnut and Faculty from Norway Cat Fan. All right, thank you very much. That is a sweet card, even though you made me try to pronounce things in some other language and I have enough trouble with English without even trying to get into anything else. <laughs> but that's okay. I don't have to be embarrassed. I'm not supposed to know anything, and I don't. So we're right on for what we're supposed to do. Okay. Uh, thank you for the card. That's wonderful. I thought I had another card or card-like thing in here. Uh, maybe I'm just 
imagining that. All right, so let's just start opening stuff. This is very jingly. Are you interested in why that's so jingly? You seem interested. Okay, well, what is it? Ooh, it is very... Oh, I remember these. I've seen these before. All it says is a gift for you, so I don't know who sent it. Um, but these are those little jingly balls, but they have cardboard wrapped around them, so they wobble around really funny, and they're fun for the kittens to play with. Um, I think this is a really good toy for the little kids upstairs to play with, too. Although, maybe we should give one to Gadget while we're here. I mean, she just loves everything, though. I don't know if she would continue to play with it. But the cardboard wrapped around the ball is a nice little addition. Like I said, it makes it wobble and it gives it a little bit of extra uh, interest. I, I, we have had those before and I think it was a popular toy. It's been a while, I can't remember. But I'd love to try it on the kids upstairs and I think I will, unless uh, whoever sent it wants to tell me that that's not what it's for. In which case, uh, you better hurry. Okay, thank you very much though. I'm excited to play, uh, see the kids play with those. All right, next up, Oh, we got a classic here. Here we go. Is there something else? No, that's it. Okay. I think we've got some poetry. All right. And some dreamies. Ooh. Ari's going to be happy about that. Okay, to read on stream. Dear Mr. A and DJ and all the furries, just a few lines to enclose two copies of a poem I've written for Gadget. One copy is, of course, for the Academy, and the other is for Gadget's adutive family. Gadget is quite a girl, and my nickname for her is Porsche Paws, simply because she's like that adventurous turbocharged luxury car that eats up the miles with relish, only to return to quietly purr in your driveway. That analogy may not work for everyone, but it certainly works for me. I've also enclosed some cat treats for Gadget to take to her forever home. Uh, I continue to enjoy watching Kitten Academy and appreciate all you do for the faculty, cats, and fosters with lots of love and very best wishes from Joanne, your greatest Scottish fan. All right. So, Gadget, here's your poem. Are you ready for this? Glorious Gadget. Glorious Gadget, you're such a wee gem, a force of nature to see. You're so full of life and you relish each day with a spirit that's totally free. Glorious Gadget, you're a very good mother to Crank, who has inherited your love of life, and although you're a wild girl who has things to do and places to see, you never cause any strife. Glorious Gadget, you're a memorable girl who has made an impression that's marked, and as you complete your studies at the prestigious KA, please rest assured that from my fond memory you shall never depart. That's very sweet. Thank you so much for sending that. I know her adopter is going to really enjoy that too. And uh, I guess these dreamies are for her, so that's a real treat. She loves food. She's very food motivated and very play motivated. She's just very motivated. <laughs> uh, I guess you guys have seen that. <laughs> all right. Um, I wonder if I can actually put these in here to keep it all together for now. Oh, yes, I can. Okay. That's what we're going to go with. Thank you so much, Joanne. It's really sweet of you to send poetry for each class, uh, for each mom cat specifically. What are you doing there? Okay, uh, next up. All right, I guess. Oh, all right, I had to suddenly go for the spring. <laughs> spring into action. Let's see. Oh, this is a box in a bag. All right. We must go deeper. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Oh, oh, I think I know who this is from. I think this is from Lena, isn't it? Because this looks like Lena's signature. Let's just see. For dear Gadget and her sweet baby Crank, something to serve up treats, noshes, and snacks. Love and spoogles from Lena. Yes, of course. So these are the named dishes that you've sent in the past that are so cool. Um, I don't want to unwrap both of them. <laughs> Uh, uh, let's see, but uh, let's unwrap one so that we can see how they're labeled. I might need to get a knife for this. <laughs> you remind me of that joke about, uh, was it Stephen Wright who did the joke about, uh, I used to practice limbo, I got pretty good at it, I could go under a rug? Yeah, so there we go. Look at how cute that is. It's a little fish-shaped dish and it says crank and it's got a little smiley face on it. And I'm sure that hers is just the same, but it says Gadget. That is really cute. I like it. 
and uh, it's it's pretty solid. I don't I think this is going to survive quite a while. I've been really worried about the teaspoon one that we have that says teaspoon's name on it and has those little ears that stick up. Like it's been fine, but I just know those ears are going to be the first thing that breaks. But uh, this looks like it's going to last a quite a while. It's very sweet. Thank you so much, Lena. It's nice of you to send these for everybody. And I know um, it's rare for Kitten Academy cats to get renamed. But even if they do, it's, I think it's fun for them to have something that's got their name on it. Uh, their original name, you know, something to remember. So, Lena, thank you so much. I think those are great. They're really cute, too. Those little fish dishes, that's adorable. Okay, let's put that in here, or try to. Keep trying. Limbo lower, kiddo. You can do it. All right, I heard this has got some stuff in it for you from Charlie. She wanted to know that it made it here okay. All right, let's see. I see I missed covering up one of your addresses, but I think we're all right. Oh. I'm sure I was supposed to open this a different direction, but that's what I went with. So here we go. I got some paper and there we go, the note. So let's start there. What are you doing? What is all this? Hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. I hope all is well and Teaspoon is doing okay. He's actually doing very well. How's your mom doing, Mr. A? I think she's doing fine. I talked to her just the other day and we didn't go into her arm much, but uh, she says that that she's working on it, and, um, uh, you know, I, I, I think she's doing all right with it so far. So, enclosed her two treat balls to deploy for Gadget, and now it will give her something to do. Oh, I see. You put treats in them. Oh, and they've already got treats in them. They're preloaded. Wow. Uh, let's see. How does that other one work? Let's take a look. And never start a sentence with and. There are two treat balls that, to go into her endowments. Oh wow, two for now and two for later. I see, there we go. Those are the ones for later. These are the ones for now. Uh, how does this work? Remove before deploy. Oh, I see. Oh, those treats smell uh, like she's probably gonna really enjoy them. Now, this could be a lot of treats to leave her with, but I guess we'll see what happens. Which one of these looks trickier? I don't know, they both look equivalently tricky. All right, let's try this one. I like the little spiral in it. We don't have to give them both at the same time. Come here. What is that? Oh, okay. Did anything come out? Do you know what's up with that? Oh, there you go. All right, and we'll put this one away for the moment because I don't think she needs two at once, but that is, looks like something she might like. She definitely enjoys those treats. Uh, it's a bit tricky to put treats into the ball, but hi, you love your cat, so you are prepared to do it. Take care, Charlie, purrs and meows from Weirdo and Kevin. Thank you very much. All right, what did she do? She moved it, but it didn't spit anything out yet. Keep going. Now she's going to try to reach inside, because that's how her other treat thing works. She's going to try to fit her nose in it. Not working. Okay, keep going. Keep going. All right, well, almost. Oh, now one came out. There you go. See, you're getting it. That's great. I think that's going to be really fun for her. It's a good idea for her to have something that keeps her stimulated. And of course, she loves to eat too much and that'll slow her down a little bit. I might not even put real treats in it if I did it. I might just put some dry food in it for her since that's pretty much like treats for her anyway. There we go. Well, she's going to go through all those in no time. She's too smart. Thank you so much, Charlie. I think that is a perfect thing for her. I, I really do. I think she's going to have a good time with that. And I guess if we've got two different ones for her endowments, then these can stay here at the Academy for us to let try out on other kittens, too. All right. Let's see, then. Who's next? Ooh, a whole box of... a whole container uh, thing. Um, whoa. Tub of Churu. Look at that. The big Churu. There's a note that says, enjoy your gift from a random YouTube viewer. Thank you, random YouTube viewer. Well, Churu is always a hit. This stuff is so good. We go through quite a bit of it, too. DJ loves, especially to give it to Teaspoon, but all the faculty get some sometimes, and our mom cats and kittens get them sometimes. You know, we use baby food a lot of the time, but Churu is, is probably even better than that. They do like it, <coughs> excuse me, quite a bit. So that is perfect. We, that's just, that's really good stuff. Thank you, random YouTube viewer. How modest. <clears throat> okay. 
Next up, we have... All right, I see a note. Let's see. Uh, enjoy your gift. Okay. Uh, enjoy your gift. Two cat scratchers, one crank, and one for gadget. The balls are for crank, and bag is for gadget. From Jody Lynn and all my kitty cats. All right, Jody Lynn and all my kitty cats. Uh, let's see. So the balls are for crank. Look how cute those are. Little atomic uh, balls, I guess. A bag of toys. Ooh, for gadget. That is something she would like. Now, that one's not even open. You can't do anything with that one yet. Here. Try this one again. Here, here's your, here's your thing, right there. Keep playing with that if you want. Um, let's see. So uh, balls are for crank. Bag toys are for two cat scratchers. Wow, two cat scratchers sounds pretty cool, but I guess those must be in a different pack, uh, pack edge maybe. So we will get to those soon enough. Jody Lynn, thank you so much though. These little balls are so cute, and this, I mean, you can never have enough toys for this kitten. She is just a crazy, crazy little kitten crazy big kitten. She's like all muscles. She's just, she's great because you can squeeze her and hug her and she doesn't mind. <laughs> she's not, she's very uh, big for a mom cat too. Like she's got a lot of weight to her. Great kitty. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ooh, what is all that? That's a very pretty print, whatever it is. It says, I usually keep busy when not playing with Cali Cat. Uh, by quilting. I went through my craft room and found some cat fabric. Look at these. Uh, and fleece to whip up a few small projects for KA. You can use as you see fit. Sending a few items for kittens and cats. The placemat thingies can be used under cat dishes or in a carrier for little paws. Look how pretty these are. Uh, and small blankets deploy or use as you see fit. Not much, but helping me clear up some space and sharing some cat stuff. By the way, Callie makes our home so full of love and silliness, we love seeing her family on Discord as well. Keep it kitten. From Anthony and Lynn, with the great, from the great state of Arizona, with Callie Cat. That is so sweet. It's so nice of you to send this stuff, and it's great to hear from you. Uh, let's see. So those are beautiful little, you call them placemat thingies. They're, they're just so gorgeous. Here we've got a nice fleece blanket. Oh, wow. Good job uh, finishing the edges on all that, too. So it's really pretty. Okay. Oh, and a couple more. Okay, we've got one that's pink. Uh, you can see the stitching on that a little better, too. Isn't that cute? And then another navy one. Well, these are great. We've also been going through a lot of blankets lately with our little poopy butt crank upstairs. So this kind of thing could be really helpful for her. Uh, those cat blankets, the ones with the cats on them, though, what a great print to turn into a little quilt like that. That's beautiful. Thank you so much. I'm going to put your note right back in there so I remember who sent these later on when I'm looking at them. Uh, those are great. Very, very cool. Okay, I need to write, uh, this is Gadget and those are Crank. I need to write that on there before I forget. So let's just say Gadget. Oh, that is not saying Gadget. Let's try again. That is, uh, I'll just put it on there because that's all going to the same place for now. Perfect. Okay, uh, great. Okay, moving right along. Look at this. Wow, this is going to be a short mailbag. I thought it would be longer with all the boxes, but it turns out they were quick ones. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, these are nice. What are they? Are they marshmallow beds? The way they're compressed, it, and it's hard to tell. I don't think that's marshmallow bed material, though. It looks very, very fuzzy. Hmm. Let's see. Well, there's no other information here except I can see they're like two tiny sofas, according to this. How cute. Uh, and it says that they come in pieces. It's anti-collapse sofa. Oh, I see. Because the yellow one that we've got in the other room falls down all the time. This one says it doesn't fall down. Huh. Well, that sounds really, really cute. Are they both blue? Or is, are, is this just one sofa and these are all the cushions for it and this is the cover? I think that's the case. Well, I don't know who sent this, um, but I do know that... We can always use another little bed. Let's take a look. Well, 
I just should open that last box before we start putting things together. But yeah, there we go. So this is all the filler for the sofa. And this then must be the cover. Let's see here. That yellow sofa really does flop around quite a bit, but that doesn't stop the kittens from liking it. Oh wow, this might be bigger than I thought. I guess that's a pretty good size. Hmm. Okay, hang on a second. Maybe we can find a way to extend this mailbag. Okay, wow, even more cushions. Okay, there we go. Actually, this looks like all the cushions here. So is this a white one? No? No, it's not. It's not. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Oh, look how cute that is, though. That's a good color. Uh, maybe I do need the instructions for this. I didn't think I did, but now I'm changing my mind on that. Where did I just put them? Yep, they're trying to hide from me. Backrest filler, cushion filler, armrest filler, I see. So these are for the backrest, according to that. This is probably an arm. Uh, this is probably the other arm. They don't quite look like in the picture, though. And then this must be the cushion. I, it says it can be used as soon as you put it together, but I do think this is going to take a little bit of time to poof up. It looks like it's been vacuum sealed for a while. Okay, so it says just open it up and put them together. So let's see. Uh, the, the, actually, the little yellow sofa that falls down all the time is also made kind of like this, which I like. The fact that um, uh, you can open it up and take each of the cushions out. It's got separate cushions for each part. And then uh, wash them and stuff, which we've had to do several times already. And it's quite nice. Okay, now hang on. Is there more than one zipper? There is. Wow, this is very tricky. I definitely would have needed the instructions. Uh, have the instructions. Okay, so... Let's see, so that goes there. Okay, I'll just zip that right up because that's all that goes there. It's got its own little zip pocket for each cushion, I guess. Or at least for each of these two. Okay, all right, good fit. So far, so good. Just stuff it in there. Perfect. It's not bad. Oh. Caught it in the zipper. How's your toy going for you, kiddo? All right. Two down, three to go. Come on, zipper. Come on, zipper. Uh-oh. Wow, that's a... Uh... There we go. Got it. All right. Now, this should be the arms. Starting to take some shape. Interesting. I wonder how it's anti-collapse though. Wow, there's some support in here too. I guess that's part of it. Oh, oh wow, I've got to get this all the way up in there. There's the elastic straps on the inside that hold the arms up where they belong instead of uh, just letting them fall down near the bottom. So maybe that's why it's anti-collapse. Let's see if I can get this all up past the elastic. There we go. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Wow. All right, well, it's a clever design. Let's see if it works. Okay, so this one should go here. Past the little elastic straps, all three of them. There we go. And that just leaves this big open spot at the bottom for this. So let's try it. Some assembly required. Look at that. You guys watched me put together a whole sofa today. Uh, <laughs> All right. A little bit more. And then we zip it. And let's see how that shakes out. Well, 
Okay, I think we need to finesse things into the corners a little bit, but I can see that this probably is going to stand up pretty well. There we go. Yeah, look at that. It does stand up pretty well. That's cute. I don't know exactly who DJ's going to want to... Uh, that was loud. I don't know who DJ's going to want to give that to you or where she's going to want to put it. Um, but that's a, that's a cute sub. It's big, too. Look at that. A couple kittens could share that. Maybe I bring it to the new kids. They've been so good about their litter box use already. Like, they get all their poops in or very near the litter box, which is amazing for their age. They've all been eating. They just started with hardly any help from me. Like, the whole class is just super advanced and easy. So healthy, so sweet. Little Stetson is still pretty shy compared to the other three. Uh, but he's still so sweet. He's just shy, you know? All right, what is this? What is this? This is, it says, a Jungle Hut Playhouse and Tiger Hut Playhouse. Wow, and I guess um, combined together with some tunnels to make a bigger play thing. Those look fun. And then we've got another sofa. Whoa, it's sofa day, I guess. Oh, this looks space age. Uh, 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 <clears throat> look at that picture on there. Is that what it looks like? Look at those legs. Look at that happy kitten on it. There's not a note here, is there? There's no note. Um, was there something on the outside? Oh, there was. I think it's from Tear Bear. Uh, that's, I think, um, I'll check on the Discord, but I believe it's Tear Bear. In fact, Tear Bear may have sent this too. Is that what it? Yes, both of them. Okay. So I will check on Discord to see what Tear Bear is uh, thinking about us doing with these. That may make all the difference, but I do want to see inside here if this looks like it's going to be what's in the picture there. Are you helping? Is this, now don't play with the knife of all the things to want to play with. Did you give up on that treat ball? Oh, I think you emptied it. <laughs> There's basically nothing in it now. That was quick. All right. Well, there's a big pink, yes, look at that. It is, it's a big pink cushion and you can see it's got um, a big, so this would be oval shape because this is two halves. And then you can see the legs here too. Some assembly required for sure. This one's gonna have screws that hold the legs on. Um, but it is very space age looking. And then I guess this kind of goes on top. Oh, it's the same brand. Mew Fun is also the one that made the, the blue thing. So uh, that's really cool. I love the legs on this. The legs alone make it worth the, the uh, going for. So Tear Bear, I'll find out what you want me to do with these. And um, then I will find out what DJ thinks. And we will go from there. Very cool. I'm, I'm excited to see this thing assembled and used though. The, like I said, Space Age, the legs on there, very cool. Um, I definitely like them both. Well, that was a mailbag. How was that so fast? 26. Huh. All right. Well, hey, it came, it went. Uh, it was mailbag. I had fun. Gadget had some fun. I hope you had some fun. I'm going to put the treat ball in this mailbag box. Oh, I see. That's smart. Oh, uh, Literally every single treat out of this thing. It's completely empty. She didn't miss one. That is talent. Also, you're probably going to have some poops now, huh? Okay. Well, let me get cleaned up here. That was it. Um, and we will, uh, uh, I don't know, get this stuff put away and then we'll do another one next week. <laughs> that seems so quick. I wasn't ready for it to be over. <laughs> so, uh, all right. I guess I better turn off this mic too before I forget and say something terribly embarrassing.
think this is all going to go to the basement for now. And this, since I put it together, I'll show it to DJ before we decide if it also goes to the basement for now. I can sit right there. Oh, there's one more. There's one more. Look at that. Hang on. I know you guys can hear me. I don't have the good mic on, but I'm pretty sure you can hear me. I missed one back here. Let's see. It is a little one. And it is, ooh, oh, these are very cool, though. Very, very cool. Uh, is there a note? I don't believe there's a note. It came from some third-party Amazon seller, but I don't know who sent it. Was there, was there a clue on the bag? There is not a clue on the bag. Look at how cool these are, though. Wow. It says Catfly Teaser. For um, We actually have, I think, the Catfly wand upstairs in my uh, office, but it would work with any wand just fine. They're dragonflies, and they're so nice. They're made just like a fly fisherman would make them. Uh, you can see the long bits of yarn here tied together to give it a dragonfly body, and then this really sparkly uh, little wings that they've put on. And uh, they've even given it little bug eyes to the front, and then, of course, a loop so it can attach to a wand. This is going to be a huge hit. It looks like it could last for quite a while, since there's not anything for them to really tear up. Um, unless the body ends up unraveling, I guess we'll find out. But it looks like it's put together... Uh, in a way that's going to make it last a while. So whoever sent these, thank you very much. Cat Fly Teaser. It came from Cats in Us, uh, which is uh, K-A-T-S-N-U-S dot com, uh, according to this for their blog, or C-A-T-S-N-U-S dot com for their uh, shop. So the shop is Cats in Us, Cats, the letter N, U-S, Dot com with a C, and the blog is Cats and Us with a K. Hmm. Cool. Uh, it does say Cats and Us up here, but I, it could also be Cat Snooze, <laughs> I guess. These I'm very excited to try out. Uh, definitely, uh, whoever sent these, let me know if I, if I have to save them or give them to somebody in particular, because those look like they're going to be really fun. Hang on. I know you're excited to go do everything, but it's not your time to go do everything. You did everything already this morning. Now it's time to sit here for a while. Okay, kiddo? Maggie's out there. You don't want to run into her again. You know what just happened. Thanks, Gadgie. You've got to stay here for a while, I think, okay? I'll see what's going on upstairs. Maybe you can come visit up there. We'll see. Wait here for now. Got you something. You guys remember the shark that came uh, a couple mailbags ago for her? Well, 
the device that's inside it that makes it flop around was broken. Uh, it just it wouldn't charge. And it used a proprietary charger, which wasn't great to start with. So we've got a few of them from other toys, and I just grabbed one of those to put in here instead. Oh yeah, this one works. Show that thing was possible. 